Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 14th, 2020. So today we have kind of an interesting day. We have the beginning of first quarter earnings, the first set of earnings for the new decade. And we have an interesting situation um, setting up overall. Um, 2019 saw earnings year over year earnings diminishing and analysts are expecting that to continue this quarter to see those um, earnings continue to diminish uh, missing year over year but here's the thing about earnings reports and it's just a big game and one of the reasons I absolutely hate earnings season and that is the fact that what's gonna happen is year over year We've had um, just year over year, we have had a lowering of those earnings expectations um, or lowering of actual earnings, which makes analysts actually lower their targets. Okay. Can't write with this thing. Lower their targets and giving that lower bar. So uh, instead of the bar being up here, analysts have lowered that bar down here, allowing companies that opportunity to just hop right over um, that lowered bar. And so that's the question right now, even though our multiples, our price to earnings multiples are just racing higher, does it matter? Will the bulls completely ignore the fact that companies are very high priced and their earnings are not um, really supporting these current prices as they have in the past? Will they ignore that, continue to drive higher? Or will they start to respect, hey, maybe we've kind of stretched this out just a little bit too far. And who knows? And that's the thing. We don't know what's going to happen next. And that's really one of those issues. A lot of folks try to predict and play that game around earnings. But let's face it, there's so many different factors when it comes to earnings. Trying to play that earnings report is really just like going to the casino and throwing money down on red or black anything is possible and the other thing is uh, use the roulette wheel we have we have a red square we have a black square and we forget that there's still a couple of green um, slots on that roulette wheel um, making um, the odds uh, very much against us in those earnings reports. So be really, really careful around earnings and particularly when multiples are so high as they are right now. It could be an interesting earnings season. We could see a little bit of volatility uh, pick up in here, particularly if um, earnings begin to disappoint. Now, what's happening today? Well, first off, let's take a look at the indexes themselves. Yesterday, um, the bulls are just so strong. They're just, it just doesn't matter what happens right now. The bulls are running up. And as you can see, the bulls continue to push yesterday. And although the diamonds wasn't able to show enough energy to pop out to new record highs, we held up very, very well overall. Kind of, uh, well, we had that bearish engulfing candle. And remember, a bearish engulfing candle requires some kind of a follow through to be valid. That didn't occur yesterday. So perhaps we're slipping into a consolidation. Perhaps that's just a nice hold for the for the bulls to grab a hold of and push on higher or perhaps those bears will decide to re-emerge and grab that little doji candle and push down who knows but what we have right here is a strong bullish trend and nothing in that chart right now is suggesting a particular bearishness at all um, just that warning out there about the earnings situation. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also extremely strong, and they found enough energy here in the SPY to break out to new record highs. New record highs made yesterday in the SPY. Despite earnings coming, any of those things, we just drove higher, pushing very, very hard. Now, one of the things that's interesting in a story that came out last night is that we have just five companies right now that make up a full 18% of the S&P 500. 
um, because of their huge market cap, and that would be Apple, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, and Facebook. Those five companies alone make up a full 18% of the S&P 500 market cap. Now, Morgan Stanley had a report out saying that that was really an unprecedented dominance of those five companies. And what does that mean? I don't know. But one of the things we're going to have to watch pretty closely is if we have just five Five companies pulling that market higher what happens if one of them stumbles what happens if they trip in any way shape or form what could occur to the market so kind of interesting um, as we continue to race up in this bullish move but let's watch this pretty closely bulls are definitely in control the spy um, all all bulls all the time in fact it, it would appear that we don't have any bears um, at all around in the market. Holding some price support in this area, that's a good sign for the market. If we start to push on higher, wonderful. If we fail here, that could be a problem for us. So let's watch that close. QQQ also, same situation. Powering higher here, just blazing up as we push those big techs higher. And new record highs in the market. We've got some support here in the chart. Absolutely no signals in this Q's chart of any problems whatsoever. So bulls are definitely in control there. Now, if we take a look at IWM, IWM has been kind of an interesting chart and we've had a couple lower highs in here and a downtrend in play. But yesterday they decided to grab a hold after initial, initially a little bit of bearishness. They held on to this price support that I have marked. And by the way, that price support transfers all the way over into here they held on that price support and decided to push up leaving a nice little bullish type pattern testing the resistance in the chart let's see if that resistance holds or if this support is going to bring those bulls out here in IWM. Watch that pretty close. Let's take a look at the VIX. One thing is for sure, the VIX has been showing little to no fear. There has been nothing but bulls here in the market. And of course, that makes the market very, um, well, they're just not fearful that bears haven't shown themselves much at all here recently. And so we continue to drop in the VIX. Now, I always talk about that when we reach down in this area that we're starting to reach a point of complacency. I feel that right now that we are reaching that point of complacency. That doesn't mean we can't go lower in the VIX. That doesn't mean the market can't go higher. What it means is, is we really have to be on our toes as traders. And that means don't become complacent. That means plan your trades carefully, understand the risk of your trades, and make sure you have a plan to exit those trades with an acceptable loss if the market reverses. That's all that is saying. I'm not trying to predict any failure of the market in any way, shape or form. Just don't get complacent. So many times um, in the past years and years ago, I would find myself being blinded by the bull run, uh, being overconfident in the bull run and over trading the bull run right at the end and just getting my clock cleaned right at the end of that move. Now, I'm not saying that that is going to happen here. I'm just suggesting be very careful not to be complacent. Keep your eyes wide open and focused on the price action of those charts that you're trading. Don't let them get out of hand and be very, very careful of over trading. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And we zoomed up yesterday in that T2122. Now, what that tells us is uh, T2122 doesn't give us direction in the market so much, but it tells us when we reach overbought or oversold conditions. And you can see it's very, very consistent. If I pull this back, we reach up into these areas and we pull back, we reach down into these areas, we rally. And as you can see, we raced up pretty quickly yesterday, pushing up here toward that upside. So if we get those good bank earnings and the market pops or gaps higher, just know that we have more upside room that we can go here in T2122. And there's even, uh, times when we can stay, we can linger up here for a while. 
So keep that in mind. It doesn't mean we we push up here and immediately have to pull back. We can linger up here for a while. If those earnings reports continue to come out strong, um, that could be the case. So let's keep an eye on that. But let's also remember that when we're up in this area, that means that there is a big opportunity for a down move so we'll want to watch that close stay focused on that price action let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar does have a few things that we need to be made aware of here whoops that we do need to be made aware of here today. First off, we have CPI right here at 8.30 this morning. We have a CPI reading. That will be kind of an important number for today. Um, but it may be completely overshadowed by the earnings reports, and we'll talk about that in just a second. So keep that in mind. We have that CPI. That is a market mo potentially market-moving number. Also keep in mind we have more Fed speakers, which just kind of goes on all day. Um, uh, well, all day, every day this week, it looks like we have uh, Fed speakers. So kind of keep that in mind um, as you look forward and plan your day, how you might want to approach the market for the day let's take a look at those earnings reports now earnings reports we have about 20 companies reporting earnings today and this is the official beginning of um, earnings season so we're gonna get earnings from you know Delta Airlines this morning looks like Delta has produced a good earnings report so far this morning looking good we're gonna hear from Citibank Citibank um, is looking higher at the moment, but I'm not sure we've received that Citibank earnings report yet. It's uh, more just um, anticipation, I think, of that. We have JP Morgan reporting this morning. JP Morgan is showing a gap uh, bullishness um, in that chart. Um, INFO is another stock reporting today and um, bid ask spread is really wide here. No report on that just yet. WFC, WFC is another uh, stock reporting this morning doesn't look like it has produced anything and then WIT also reporting and you can see wide bid ass spreads here on that stock so as these earnings reports roll out we'll want to keep a close eye on that and um, as those um, um, earnings roll out. If I take a look at the futures of the market, the Dow futures right now are only indicating about a 13 point rise in the Dow futures. So a little bit weak while the ES, while the um, S&P 500 futures are just slightly lower, the NASDAQ futures are just slightly lower. So we have a little bit of a mix going on um, in these futures as those earnings start to roll out this morning. So kind of keep a close eye on this um, hopefully those bulls will continue to hold up strong if not we know what we're supposed to do right we have a plan and if you're not trading with a plan you're making a major major mistake all right, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you guys would do me a favor if this is the first time you have seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also, click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos are not to predict. They're not to provide a whole bunch of hype. They're not to provide any uh, grandiose ideas that we can predict which way the market is going to go. The best we can do as traders is stay very focused to price action. Look at those technicals and then decide how we want to approach the market for today without the influence of emotion. And if we can remove that emotion and apply ourselves to the market every day with that calm, quiet, thoughtful process, I have found that to be tremendously helpful for my career and nearly 15 years trading full time. So. Um, if you find this helpful, could you guys do me a favor? Click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. That helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks. We gain more folks to the channel and um, we continue to help other people um, approach the market with a better frame of mind. Thank you for everyone who does that. I appreciate it so much. You guys are awesome. Um, 
I do the very best to put out good quality content here, but we cannot grow without you. And if you don't continue to uh, support the channel with those thumbs up and, and comments, um, we'll stop growing. And that's just the simple fact. So thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up, some stocks that I've been talking about here recently. And um, before I do, just remember that every time I uh, show a stock here in the videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Security. Um, everyone has to do their own evaluation, decide whether or not that stock fits them, particularly um, in a market that could begin to become a little bit more volatile. So make sure you're paying attention. Now, one stock I want to bring up right away, because this was a big, a big, nice move for us in right way options. And I've been talking about this stock for some time. This is that rounded bottom breakout pattern that um, I've been talking about uh, for a while. While, uh, where a stock has been down, 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 down for a long period of time, finally breaks its downtrend, starts moving to the upside, breaks through that 50-day moving average, proves to hold it as um, as support, and then we begin that move. Yesterday was a beautiful move for us, 12.5% here on CGC. If anyone was in that, congratulations. We've been talking about this for a while. There's that beautiful pattern. Upside targets here in the market, as you can see, um, are laid out. So uh, CGC uh, cruising higher here, uh, made a, a nice profit on this yesterday, closing half my position on such a big move. Um, and I will watch this for uh, more potential upside and maybe even add back to this trade if it gets a rest pullback or some kind of consolidation. As you guys know, I've also been talking about Etsy. Etsy finally made its move yesterday. Etsy breaking through into that open gap, looking very, very good. Might wanna keep an eye on that. I don't think I would chase either one of these, um, CGC, Etsy, um, at all. Um, let that um, finish its move either moving on up or a rest or pullback before entering into that trade but Etsy looking very very good here overall nice little round of bottom breakout pattern breaking through into that gap very very strong and looking quite good um, stocks all over the place making really good moves take a look at GE GE had a beautiful pop-up here yesterday and we're moving in toward this trend now I don't know if I've drawn this trend where it really should be uh, just yet and you never know that until we finally get the move but GE I've been watching this closely and um, following this chart and GE looking pretty good yesterday now if you happen to like a little bit longer term trade take a look at GE on a weekly this is a really pretty weekly chart moving on up now obviously we have resistance in this chart to be concerned about as we watch that but if that continues to move on higher we could see some nice breaks and uh, see that GE chart continuing to move on higher so keep a close eye on that looking pretty good overall um, another one you might want to keep an eye on is some of these dividend payer stocks um, they're looking pretty good and we're seeing um, some good signs in those take a look at coca-cola Coca-Cola breaking through all-time high resistance here yesterday, just plowing right on through. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this or chase into this. I would want to wait for the next entry into this trade. So keep an eye on Coke breaking through that all-time high, good strong dividend payer, one of those places where folks may move to uh, look for a little bit of safety if the market does get a little bit weird. Um, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, that's looking pretty darn good overall. Take a look at Grub. Grubhub, as you know, I mentioned this one yesterday, Grubhub hanging in there, and you can see here's another one of those charts breaking that downtrend, testing some price resistance in the chart, and pulling back. So 
we're staying fairly bullish in here and I expect this to maybe bounce around in here a little more maybe slightly slide out here toward the trend before that has an opportunity to move higher but we'll want to keep an eye on uh, Grubhub it's looking pretty good looking pretty strong and staying uh, uh, bullish in this little uptrend going on take a look at BMY BMY continuing to stay very very bullish moving up we broke through this level of price resistance here held it as support and now we're reaching out for new levels of price resistance one thing I would tell you is I wouldn't chase this move I would wait this is up several days in a row now wait for the next rest pullback consolidation to get you into that trade but overall BMY looking pretty darn good so keep an eye on that i mentioned pfizer yesterday and and i looked at pfizer several times yesterday pfizer is another one of those charts that's been rising it's a good dividend pay, payer here 3.65 percent annualized yield and you can see rising in that trend and pushing against a resistance level in the chart if pfizer can hold up in here and finally push on through there may be some nice upside in here the nice thing about Pfizer's options are usually pretty cheap and um, uh, pretty easy to trade to tell you the truth so keep an eye on Pfizer looking pretty good so I'm out of time guys um, I had a few more charts to look at but I'm out of time this morning I want to wish everyone a fantastic day I want to wish you all the best please be careful with this earnings situation and, and uh, plan your risk carefully never trade a trade without a plan and stick to your plan don't um, don't try to justify or talk yourself into risk that you can't afford everyone take care have a great day and we'll see you all right back here bright and early wednesday morning have a good one